It's Ash from Super Videos back for another video for season 11 of The Walking Dead. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the synopsis for the final eight episodes for The Walking Dead and also the titles of the last eight episodes. So stay tuned, we'll be right back to break it all down. <laughs> Alright, as always, before we dive into it, smash the like button, subscribe to join our community, and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. With that said, let's dive right into it. So these are the titles for the first five episodes of Season 11 Part 3 that has been released by AMC. The first episode is called Lockdown which is going to air on October 2nd. Now, Lockdown is a very interesting title, and the only thing that I can think of is that it's referring to Commonwealth being at lockdown, and it's potentially going to connect to the riots that we are definitely going to see at some point in Season 11, Part 3. We've seen a bit of tease of that in the trailers and teasers, so we know it's going to be coming up. So that's Season 11. 11 episode 17 that takes us to season 11 episode 18 a new deal which airs on october 9th now a new deal is an interesting title and i feel like this is either gonna be a deal between the commonwealth and the survivors most likely lance and pamela at the commonwealth side and maybe maggie Daryl and Carol and maybe even Negan on the survivor side but at the same time it could also be teasing at some sort of a story where we see some backstory or some sort of thing between CRM or the Civic Republic military and the Commonwealth which would be a pretty big deal. I am leaning more towards the first with Commonwealth and the survivors coming to some sort of a deal, obviously a temporary deal, but I could see them going a direction where they could bring in the CRM and have that story integrate into the story as well, but I doubt it. The next episode, which is season 11, episode 19, is called Variant, which airs on October 16th. Now this is a very, very revealing title because it does reveal to us that we are in fact going to see some sort of a story in this episode that has to do with the variant types of walkers that we've heard a lot about. We know there's going to be two types of variants, one of which is going to be the intelligent or the smart walkers. They're not really smart walkers, but that's what they're called now. But I'm assuming that this episode variant is going to be connected to one of these two types of walkers. We did learn a little bit about these walkers from Aaron's perspective. There was dialogue from Aaron telling the survivors that he's heard stories about walkers that can open doors, climb walls, things of that nature. So I'm assuming that this is most likely going to be what this episode is going to be all about. Now, that means that this episode is probably going to be the episode with Aaron and Jerry. We do see a lot with the two of them in some sort of a small cabin town. We do see that in the trailer. So this could potentially be the story where we see that whole thing that we saw in the trailer. The next episode, so season 11, episode 20, is called What's Been Lost, and it airs on October 23rd. Not much to say about this one. I mean, it could be so many things. What's been lost, they've lost so many things. So could be just about anything. So we can't really make any sort of prediction what this episode is all about. The next episode, so season 11, episode 21, is called Outpost 22, which airs on October 30. This, we obviously know, refers to Alexandria. We did see in the trailer that Commonwealth, once they took over, they turned Alexandria into Outpost 22 for the Commonwealth. They rolled in and they kind of took over and they're running things now there. So this is definitely connected to that whole story. The next three episodes are not titled, but they air on November 6th, 13th and November 20th, with November 20th being the series finale, which is going to be a pretty huge deal. 
I'm definitely looking forward to that episode. And we are definitely, and I mean definitely going to be doing a post episode live stream. I'm probably going to post my reaction earlier because obviously I'll be watching it on AMC+. Plus. But I will be going live as soon as the episode airs on AMC itself. And we'll be doing a live stream for the series finale. With that said, let's take a quick look at the extended synopsis that AMC released for the last eight episodes. AMC released this detailed synopsis which reads, The television legacy that is The Walking Dead begins its highly anticipated last eight episodes this October. On the heels of the oppressive presence of locusts, an even greater force is bearing down on every single member of each community. With Commonwealth flags raised at Hilltop, Alexandria, and Oceanside, just in brackets, those are the communities that they were referring to, but there is no time to strategize for those on the road. It's a race against the clock to stay alive and extract those still living in the Commonwealth before Hornsby, Josh Hamilton, can execute his revenge. One other thing in brackets, there's no reference to Pamela, which could be revealing, but they could just be leaving it out for no reason. So what I mean by that is that it's possible that Lance is the great threat rather than Pamela in these last eight episodes. Inside the Commonwealth, Connie's article, Connie of course being played by Lauren Ridloff, has created more chaos than planned. By exposing the Miltons, Lila Robbins, corruption, their hope to create a better, more equal life for all may instead put everyone at risk. And I'm assuming that this is gonna be what's gonna connect to the whole riots story. With the vast debt our group owes and no other viable place to live, simply leaving has never been an option. But if their next move fails, staying won't be an option either. That's pretty self-explanatory, not much to break down there. What they're about to embark on will only invite more danger with massive consequences. The clock is ticking for our heroes inside the Commonwealth as well. Each group continues to get caught in uncontrollable situations, threats lurk around every corner, dead and alive. The looming pressure is cresting towards a day of reckoning for all. Will the sum of their individual journeys accumulate into one or divide them forever? The fight for a future continues to be exasperated by the ominous population of walkers. Another thing in brackets, this is most likely teasing that we are going to see some sort of a walker herd coming towards Commonwealth and posing a threat. We did see that a little bit in the trailer, so... That's definitely something that's most likely going to be coming up. And they end the synopsis with, Not all will survive, but for some, the walking dead lives on. This is also self-explanatory. Not all will live. There will be deaths, probably big deaths, but some will live on. Those are obviously Carol, Daryl, Negan, Maggie, and most likely some others who may stay around at Commonwealth instead of going elsewhere like these characters that I mentioned who will obviously get their own spin-off. But that's pretty much it. That's the synopsis. Not much reveals aside from that with Pamela that I mentioned earlier, but all of it is self-explanatory. Like there aren't any hidden meanings or anything like that. So it's basically telling you we're heading towards the end, but some are going to make it. That's pretty much what it's saying. And it's definitely teasing the big conflict with Commonwealth finally coming to an end in a way where they're going to have some sort of a battle. But with that said, that's pretty much everything I wanted to share in this video. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to join our community, and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video.